Air superiority, the coveted crown in modern warfare. It's not just about having fancy jets, it's about controlling the skies. Whoever dominates the air dictates the battle space. And in the realm of air superiority, two formidable contenders stand out. India's Su-30 MKI and Russia's Su-35. Both born from the Sukhoi Design Bureau, these flankers represent the cutting edge of Russian aerospace engineering. But despite their shared lineage, they cater to different operational doctrines and strategic objectives. The Su-30 MKI, India's customized warhorse, is a testament to their quest for self-reliance and regional power projection. Meanwhile, the Su-35 embodies Russia's ambition for a modernized, highly agile air superiority fighter. This isn't just a tale of two jets, it's a glimpse into the evolving nature of air combat in the 21st century and how these metal birds of prey are shaping the future of air power. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty, shall we? The Su-30 MKI, boasting its AL-31 FP engines with thrust vectoring, delivers raw power and agility. Its BARS N011M passive electronically scanned array radar provides a wide field of view and impressive range. Armed with a mix of Russian and Indian weaponry, including the Astra Beyond Visual Range missile, the MKI packs a serious punch. On the other side, we have the Su-35, sporting the more powerful AL-41 F1S engines, also with thrust vectoring, granting it superior speed and maneuverability. Its Urbice E passive electronically scanned array radar boasts even longer detection ranges and advanced electronic counter-countermeasures. The Su-35's arsenal leans heavily on Russian air-to-air -air missiles, like the long-range R-77. These are just the highlights. Both jets are bristling with electronic warfare suites, self-protection systems, and a bewildering array of air-to-ground ordnance. Deciding a clear winner based purely on specs is a fool's errand. It's about how these systems work together, and that's where things get really interesting. The Su-30 MKI is a poster child for India's indigenization drive. While based on the Russian airframe, India has integrated a significant amount of non-Russian avionics and weaponry. This reflects India's strategic desire to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers and tailor the aircraft to their specific needs. The Su-35, in contrast, is a purebred Russian design. It represents Russia's ambition to maintain its edge in fighter technology. The emphasis is on raw performance, advanced avionics, and a heavy emphasis on air-to-air -air combat capabilities. This reflects Russia's strategic focus on asserting its dominance in regional conflicts and deterring potential adversaries. So one jet is a hybrid, the other a thoroughbred. Does this make one inherently better? Not necessarily. Each approach has its merits and drawbacks, which become apparent when we analyze their operational strengths and weaknesses. Section 4. Strengths and weaknesses, not all thrust vectoring is created equal. The Su-30 MKI's strength lies in its versatility. It can perform a wide range of missions, from air superiority to ground attack and even naval strike. Its open architecture allows for continuous upgrades and integration of new technologies, making it adaptable to evolving threats. However, its reliance on multiple vendors can lead to integration challenges and potential maintenance headaches. On the other hand, the Su-35 shines in its sheer agility and raw performance. Its powerful engines and refined aerodynamics make it a formidable dogfighter. Its advanced radar and electronic warfare suite give it an edge in beyond visual range combat. However, its heavy focus on air superiority comes at the cost of some multi-role flexibility. The Su-30 MKI is like a Swiss Army knife versatile but perhaps not the sharpest tool in the shed. The Su-35, however, is a scalpel, incredibly precise and lethal, but with a more specialized role. Which one is better depends entirely on the mission at hand. Section 5. Strategic Significance, More Than Just Jets For India, the Su-30 MKI is a cornerstone of their air power. It provides a credible deterrent against regional rivals like China and Pakistan, while also allowing India to project power in the Indian Ocean region. Its indigenous components bolster India's domestic aerospace industry and reduce their dependence on external suppliers. For Russia, the Su-35 is a symbol of their resurgent military might. It showcases their technological prowess and their ability to compete with Western fighter jets. Its export potential strengthens Russia's geopolitical influence, providing them with valuable leverage in international relations. These jets are more than just weapons platforms. They embody the strategic ambitions of their respective nations. They are tools of diplomacy, deterrence, 
and, if necessary, war. Section 6. Conclusion. When Eagles Dare. So, who emerges victorious in this clash of the titans? The answer, like most things in life, is nuanced. Each jet has its strengths and weaknesses, tailored to the specific needs and strategic objectives of its operator. The Su-30 MKI is a testament to India's growing technological independence and regional aspirations. The Su-35 is a symbol of Russia's determination to maintain its status as a leading military power. Ultimately, the true test of these magnificent machines lies not in sterile comparisons of specs, but in the crucible of actual combat. And while we may hope that day never comes, it's reassuring to know that when eagles dare, these birds of prey will be ready to soar. The skies are their domain, and they rule them with a blend of raw power, technological sophistication, and a dash of cold, hard steel. In the end, it's not about who wins, but about the delicate dance of deterrence that keeps the peace, one supersonic sortie at a time.